Uh, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all, uh, like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, and Karkadash. Shalom to the uh, elders, Wa'akim Wa'akwaf, and I say Shalom. And this is a uh, sit down lesson that I want to bring out of uh, Isaiah 31 and verse 1. And that's going to be the title of the sit down lesson. <clears throat> and this is uh, the prophet Isaiah chapter 31 and verse 1, and it reads, it says, Woe, woe be unto, it says, Woe, woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. Right, because this is a uh, modern day spiritually Egypt, just like ancient Egypt. It says, Woe to them that go down to uh, Egypt for help, and they stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many, and the horsemen because they are very strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord Yahweh thy power. Right, just like it says in uh, Isaiah 55 and verse 6, it says, Seek ye the Lord Yahweh thy power while he may be found, call upon him while he is near. So we cannot fully trust in the ways of Egypt because this is a uh, modern day spiritually Egypt, you know, just like ancient uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, uh, modern day, uh, just like ancient Sodom and Gomorrah, this is a uh, modern day Sodom and Gomorrah, uh, this is a uh, modern day spiritually Egypt. So we cannot fully have our uh, fully trust in uh, modern day Egypt, just like ancient uh, Egypt. Now, this is a uh, modern day spiritually Egypt, but trust in the ways of the heavenly father, your house, thy power, you know, because it says in uh, Isaiah 33 and verse 6. You know, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and the strength of salvation. In the fear of the Lord, Yahweh, thy power is the treasure. And this is a uh, Joe, yeah, prophet Isaiah 33 and verse 6, and it reads, it says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and the strength of salvation. In the fear of the Lord, Yahweh, thy power is the treasure. Right, so trust in not the ways of Egypt, you know. But we're about to enter into the, uh, the hour of temptation, uh, the time of Jacob's trouble. <laughs> So we cannot fully trust in the ways of uh, Egypt because modern day Egypt is on the decline, you know, just like ancient Egypt was on the decline. Now this uh, modern day spiritually Egypt on the decline. So we cannot have our fully trust in modern day Egypt, but have our full trust in the heavenly father, how thy power. That's why it says uh, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times in the strength of salvation in the field of the Lord, how thy power is treasure. And this is uh, the prophet Isaiah. And this is a uh, prophet Isaiah 55. Yep, the prophet Isaiah 55, verse 6. It says, Seek ye the Lord, Yahweh thy power, while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Right now is the time to seek the ways of the heavenly father, Yahweh thy power, and not fully trust in the ways of modern day Egypt, but trust in the ways of the heavenly father, Yahweh thy power. Us, that's why, you know, that's why it's very important for us to come back to the children of Israel, the sons and daughters of the true living power, which is Yahweh thy power, us Israelites as well, too. This is uh, the prophet Isaiah 31 verse 1. It says, Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help, and they stay on horses and trust in chariots, because they are many, and the horsemen, because they are very strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord Yahweh thy power. So it's very important to seek the Lord Yahweh thy power, you know, and seek the ways unto the Holy One of Israel, you know, and Yahweh Bashem El Shah. And us being the children of Israel, a seek the ways and trust in the ways of Heavenly Father, your house, thy power, you know. So with that, uh, yeah, Ecclesiastes 12 and verse 1. <clears throat> yeah, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 1. It reads, it says, remember now thy creator, right, the true creator, which is the Heavenly Father, your house, thy power. It says, remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw not. When thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 2 and it reads it says while the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not uh, darkened nor the clouds return after the rain Ecclesiastes 12 and verse 3 it says in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinders cease because there are few in those that look out of the windows be not darkened I mean out the windows be darkened Salakia Ecclesiastes 12 verse 4 and the door shall be shut in the streets and when the sound of the grinding is low and he shall rise up a voice of the bird and all the daughters of music shall be brought low ecclesiastes 12 and verse 13 let us let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter fear your how thy power and keep his commandments for this is the whole duty of man gone so with that hopefully this uh quick little sit down lesson was edifying of uh, the prophet isaiah 31 verse 1 
as it says, woe to them that go down to seek to you know to seek help from Egypt, because this is a uh, modern day spiritually Egypt, just like ancient Egypt, while uh, Egypt was getting jacked up, while the heavenly father was delivering the children of Israel out of ancient Egypt, and they were still trusting in uh, Egypt, but we cannot trust into modern day Egypt, just like ancient Egypt, but trust in the ways of the heavenly father, your house thy power, a hey, trust in the holy one of Israel. And seek the ways of the heavenly father and how thy power as you see not just brought out that isaiah 55 verse 6 you know so with that hopefully this uh quick sit down lesson was edifying of isaiah 31 verse 1 and that was the title of the sit down lesson so with that i'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to uh to yahweh by hashem yahweh shai by hashem akakadash shalom to the uh elders and i say shalom to the uh Elders were Aki and were Akwaf as well too. And the uh, Heavenly Father, the true name is Zegahabu, and his son begotten son, Bahashem, in the name of Mashiach Yahabashab. Those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the last one could ask the tongue. And once again I say shalom to the uh, elders were Aki and were Akwaf. Until next time I will say shalom.